Today's video is going to be awesome because I am going to be calling Goose and we're going to be discussing how our seven day vlogging daily video upload to YouTube went. Kind of a recap session for you guys. Well, dude, we made it. Uh, the 8th through the 14th of September, daily video uploading to YouTube. How did it go? It went uh, decently well. I made it. I, I had a video up every, every day, um, so I made it, but I had to like, and it was super fun, and I, I know for sure that I love it, but I yep. did not work out the entire week. I gave up Frisbee, which I've been playing twice a week, Dang. and I didn't hang out with uh, any like friends and had to turn down some roommates to going out to eat sometimes and like <laughs> dang so you actually so there like, was like you, definitely you some sacrificed sacrifice. several things to to do your you know to keep up with your schedule of daily uploads for sure which wow. is mainly because of the things I'm currently doing like yep. producing and some drum lessons and like some other side hustles that I have if I weren't yep. doing those and this was full on easy the content that you do is actually pre-production and then post-production which is I mean, incredible. Yep. Like, people don't understand. Like, if you watch Benny Goose's videos, it's like actually stuff that you have to work on. Like, the lighting, the program that he does for the songs, like his actual yeah. programming for what he does in Ableton, which is a software for musicians. Like, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys don't understand how much work that actually is. So, when you see his videos, you go check them out. Leave a comment like saying great job goose because it's a lot of work. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah. And like, on, so on my end, I had stuff planned out ahead of time because I knew. Like I'm right now, I'm doing a product launch and I'm like doing brand work for other companies and so, plus a yep. family that I have and I have to fit all that somehow between nine and five. And yeah, then go you're home a and dad. Do, yeah, I'm a dad, so it's so it's hard. <laughs> I don't know how you do and that. And like the the editing part has to be done, like from nine into like one or two in the morning. In that sense, it's hard. Then I go work out in the morning. My workflow is just get as much stuff done that I can and vlog it in the day. The tutorials do that at night in the studio or, you know, during lunchtime and then go home and edit. More of a, hold on. Hey buddy, not the mud. Ethan, thank you. I feel like no no dig on your channel, but like the stuff that you do, it could almost like go viral in, at any second. That's not a dig, that's a, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, like, take that as a dig at all. <laughs> right, right, and I'm like, no, I'm like saying, the stuff that you do is can go viral, and so it's not easy in that sense, but it's easy because you have cover songs to cover. And I feel yep. like my channel is very slow growth. Like people have to like me as a person and how I educate and also how I vlog. So I feel like that's more of a slow and burn kind of thing. Some of the tutorials though have huge potential where people are just looking for information. I do it all the time. I just want to know something, how to do something on YouTube. I look it up, I watch a video and then I leave and I'm done. <laughs> right, and right. And there's huge potential for high views if on the right tutorials if they're done well. Right, you know? right. And there's a lot of YouTubers that I look up to that actually have a lot of like really good production quality to the videos and so when I do tutorials cool. it's not that yeah. I like am opting out but I want to make sure every one of my videos has a cool like feature to it as far as what I can do on video and not that I'm like yeah. a great video filmmaker but I just I like kind of those 30 second sequences that involve slow motion or some so some sort of I cool was drops say, you know you're you crush at like b-roll transitions like angles and lighting and like I feel like every main shot in your videos are just like freaking perfect. Sweet, like, dude, you I'm can pumped. tell it's like thought through and like the camera's in the right spot, you're in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Rule of thirds. I'm like, I'm a noob when it comes to that stuff. I'm like, I just give me audio. <laughs> oh yeah, like I would say this seven day challenge, I think we both were kind of like exhausted slash kind of learned a lot, you know, and as much as, you yep. know, we learned, like I learned how much I could take and learned better workflow. I guess. Yeah, that, those are the biggest things I think for me too. I learned like how much is dang possible. Like I can do this. I can spend four to five hours on a video every day and like actually make it happen. Yep. Especially when I announce it to the world, like and there's stakes to it. <laughs> like right. if I don't, I'm letting down everyone that's like paying attention. So right. uh, that was a huge part of it. And I also noticed like, yeah, my workflow, I got faster at it and better at it. And I learned like, I mean, by video like four and five, I was, I just knew the next step. And now my workflow for these covers is like, I sit down, I play to it. I figure out some parts that just feel good and I'm just randomly playing to it. Right. And then I make a rough plan what I'm gonna play. Then I go sit on my like desk, which is like a table in this storage room <laughs> and, and program the lights and 
um, get Ableton ready for it and everything, and then I sit back down and practice with that, and right. then shoot it again, and like that's worked really well. So just like dialing in all those small, totally. Things. Big question for you. Yeah. What do you think? Is it sustainable? I, I, it, dude, it depends. Like, I think for my thing, like as far as my channel, it could be. It's just a lot of work on both front and back end, and I think I'm, I'm gonna try to keep I'm on doing you, daily video. Uh, yep. I think I'm, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm honestly not narrowed down on exactly what I'm going to do. I lean towards Monday, Wednesday, Friday, though. Right. Um, definitely, and I'd love to have a, a, a schedule and consistent time that people know I'll be there and they, they can expect a video and I'll yep. have it up by like a, a specific days, but also a specific time. Yeah, oh, that's good, that that's day. a good so, idea, yeah, yeah. Well, Goose, uh, this was fun, man. I'm really pumped. And actually, I'm going to see Goose in like less than four days. Uh, Heck so yeah, dude, We're Stokes. gonna hang out and potentially do another vlog. <laughs> there you guys have it, the vlog challenge with two YouTubers. I'll catch you, I'll catch you next time, Goose. We did it, we All did right. it, man. <laughs> Talk see to ya. you soon, see ya. Right. Yep, see ya. And there it is, guys. The seven day challenge. Freaking love that ended. guy. Uh, I learned a lot. Goose learned a lot. And I'm sure that you guys learned a lot watching from the behind the scenes. Crazy and weird to think about that you could do that in 2019. Like, you can try to make this your career. It's crazy. Well, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Goo channel. Peace. Oh, no. Ethan, Ethan, don't do. Oh. Ethan just body slammed another child. I'm just joking. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, though. <laughs> All right, peace. <laughs>